Welcome to Mama's Family, a classic 1983 TV series that brings humor, shocks, and touching moments to your screen. Wondering if you have a cherished memory tied to this show, or perhaps you have a favorite among its many roles. Stay tuned because we're about to unravel funny, shocking, and even sad facts that might just surprise you. Now, let's dive into the world of Mama's Family. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience with the show? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Keep watching for more insights into the unforgettable world of Mama's Family. Mama's Family stands out as a sitcom that has garnered a dedicated fan base over the years. The show, which originally aired in 1983, revolves around the Harper family, featuring the matriarch Mama, played by Vicki Lawrence. The series offers a comedic portrayal of Mama's interactions with her family and neighbors. The characters, including Mama, Minton, Naomi, and Iola, contribute to the humor with their distinctive personalities. Mama's sharp wit and unique antics often serve as the comedic focal point, while the supporting cast adds depth to the family dynamics. Throughout its run, the show went through changes, welcoming new characters like Buzz, played by Alan Kaser. Despite its ups and downs, Mama's family has managed to maintain its charm, with fans praising the early years and expressing attachment to characters portrayed by Carol Burnett and Rue McClanahan. The introduction of Buzz brought a renewed energy to the show, according to some viewers. One viewer recalls enjoying the show since its premiere, making it a staple in their television routine. The humor derived from Mama's quick comebacks and quirky behavior continues to bring laughter, even during reruns. The nostalgic sentiment is evident in the mention of specific memorable moments, such as Mama going off in her own unique way or Iola's distinctive knock-knock greetings. While the show eventually concluded, its impact remains enduring for fans who appreciate the timeless humor and memorable characters. The viewer expresses a sense of connection with the show, turning to it for laughter and entertainment. Overall, Mama's family has left a lasting impression on those who have followed Wood its comedic journey. Dorothy Lyman, a key figure in Mama's family, also maintained a full-time role on the daytime drama All My Children, shuttling between Los Angeles and New York City. Meanwhile, Vinton worked as a locksmith at Quick Keys, and Naomi, initially a checker at Food Circus, climbed to the position of assistant manager. Vinton's first wife, Mitzi, left him to pursue a career as a cocktail waitress in Las Vegas, a plot point revealed in the series' opening episode. These details offer a glimpse into the characters' backgrounds and the interconnected dynamics within Mama's family. In the town of Raytown, where every business bears a variation of the town name, such as McRae's and Shea Ray, Mama's family unfolds its narrative. The town boasts two newspapers, The Bugle and The Courier. The roots of this show trace back to a skit on The Carol Burnett Show, featuring Vicki Lawrence, Carol Burnett, Harvey Corman, and Betty White. From this comedic inception, it developed into a distinct entity. Key to the series is Dorothy Lyman, initially known for her flamboyant portrayal of Opal Sue Gardner on the soap opera All My Children. Carol Burnett and Vicki Lawrence, avid fans of Lyman, suggested her for the role of Naomi Oates Harper. During the show's first season, she maintained a dual role, shuttling weekly between the filming locations in Los Angeles for Mama's Family and New York City for All My Children. Her departure from All My Children coincided with NBC's renewal of the show for a second season. This intertwining of personal and professional commitments sheds light on the interconnected dynamics within the series. The show's origins and casting choices, coupled with the characters' backgrounds and the town's quirky details, contribute to the fabric of Mama's family, creating a narrative tapestry. Iola's middle name is Lucille. Lorna Luft was the producer's first choice to play Iola. Dorothy Lyman had a crush on Ken Berry during the series. These behind-the-scenes details add unique layers to the production dynamics of Mama's family, offering a glimpse into the personal interactions among the cast members. Iola's middle name, Lorna Luff's initial consideration for the role, and Dorothy Lyman's feelings towards Ken Berry provide intriguing insights into the series' off-screen dynamics. Such anecdotes contribute to the overall narrative of Mama's family, demonstrating the interplay between the actors and the show's behind-the-scenes dynamics. Bubba entered Mama's family during its third season, arriving from reform school under her guardianship as part of his probation terms. 
Meanwhile, as the show entered syndication, Betty White and Rue McClanahan, known for their roles in The Golden Girls, continued to shine in their own right. Initially canceled by NBC after two seasons, Mama's family defied expectations by transitioning into syndication, a pioneering move alongside shows like It's a Living and 9 to 5. In a few years, Baywatch replicated this success on an even grander scale. The journey from network cancellation to syndication success mirrored the evolving landscape of television. In Mama's Family, Vicki Lawrence took on the role of Mama at the age of 33, despite the character being portrayed as in her 60s. This age dissonance added a unique layer to the series, showcasing her versatility as an actress. During the first two seasons, the opening credits adopted a distinctive approach, crediting the main cast only when their characters appeared. This allowed Betty White and Carol Burnett to be acknowledged as guest stars in the opening credits rather than the closing. The shift to syndication in 1986 altered this practice, with all main cast members credited in each episode. An exception was the episode Best Medicine, where Betty White was designated as a special guest star in the opening credits. Raytown, the setting for the show, is an actual town in Missouri. In the TV special Eunice, they reference St. Louis being a couple of hours away, emphasizing the real-world connection to its fictional setting. These behind-the-scenes details, from age considerations to credit practices and geographical authenticity, provide a deeper understanding of the production dynamics. Each element contributes to its distinctive narrative, reflecting the subtle intricacies that shaped its evolution. The iconic house featured in the opening and closing credits of the show is situated in South Pasadena, California. Thelma's late husband, Carl, rarely appeared outside the bathroom in flashbacks, with his voice provided by co-creator Dick Clare and occasionally portrayed by Ken Berry. Naomi, a character in the series, went through three marriages, first to Tommy Ray, then Leonard Oates, and finally to Vinton. These relationship details add depth to the character dynamics within the series. Dorothy Lyman, older than Vicki Lawrence by two years, played a pivotal role in Mama's Family. Beverly Archer, one year older than Lawrence, also contributed significantly. In the first two seasons, Harvey Corman introduced some episodes as Alastair Quince. Meanwhile, Vicki Lawrence penned lyrics for the theme song, Bless My Happy Home, although producers opted for an instrumental version in the credits. Carol Burnett initially slated to portray Mama, but Vicki Lawrence, suggested by Burnett, took the role, starting a successful journey. In the series' third season, Ed and Eunice Higgins exit, leaving their son Bubba under Thelma Harper's care, reshaping the show's dynamics. Vicki Lawrence and Ken Berry appearing in all 130 episodes, alongside Alan Kaser from season three, showcased unwavering commitment.